I'm Melissa Cross, and you're watching Bridge the Atlantic. What are some of the biggest mistakes that you see vocalists making, and how can they know when they're damaging their voice or they're doing Uh it incorrectly? Okay, I want to say one thing before I answer those questions. I'm a singing teacher, right? So I don't just do screaming. So when people come for screaming, they have to learn to be a vocalist. Good. Plain and simple. It's not, I'm not like a, you know, a one trick pony teacher. This is like a complete like overhaul. Like the people that I, t- I teach Broadway or um, I don't teach, I don't teach classical because there's much better people that do, but uh, it, it takes like a solid foundational understanding of the instrument to do anything well vocally. And that's very important to me. So I just want to get that clear. Like I'm not all about the screaming. So if you're not a screamer, please don't not come to me because you don't, you're not interested in screaming. Cause I just want to get, make that clear. It's about the foundation yeah, you're not going to right? Foundation is it, most important. Yeah. You know, just my vocal coach last week said the greatest thing to me. She's just like, you know what? You got to bake the cake before you put the icing and toppings on exactly. it. You got, it doesn't matter what style or what you're doing. You've exactly. got to get that base going on or else exactly. you are just a pile of icing. <laughs> and what, yeah, yeah, exactly. And what is the basis? I'm going to tell you what the basis is. Okay. It's the coordination of the air pressure in your lungs and the vocal folds or cords closing, right? It's that coordination of that stuff plus like the, the, the opening outside of the vocal folds. In other words, there's a resonance strategy, right? But it's the it's you it's a it's a lot of air management. It's not it's not about breathing in and out, right? It's about like riding the air without thinking about it. Right. So I don't want to get into like the but that's foundational for screaming. Like you cannot scream well if you haven't got that under your belt. Not that it's that hard to get under your belt, but you've got to do the basics first. Okay, so... Or else you're just slamming the, those cords, right? You're just slamming them and they're just hitting like two walls and you're just going to... This is what the biggest mistake that people make when they start to scream. They imitate what they hear on a CD and they use an emotional impetus to create the sound. So the emotional inference of a scream is tension, aggravation... All the things that will hurt your voice, right? So there, there needs to be a different uh, trajectory to get to the scream that is not emotionally based. The emotion has to go in at the end. I mean, I have to f- channel it back in. But the way that we would start is, first of all, with a little bit of knowledge because it's not voodoo. There's actually science that really helps you understand what you're about to do and what the exercises are going to help you do. Like, so it's like having, like knowing how the car works, you know, you don't need to know every detail, but basics, you know, here's the ignition, here's the accelerator, this is the steering wheel, this is what, you know, just to have a a sort of overview that, so it's not like a bunch of mythology. And then I split up, there's different kinds of screams. You know, there's like the kind that you do uh, where you were talking about putting some heat on it. That's called yeah. hybrid. So there's a little bit like of what's color, a, like changing but, the color a little bit. But you see, you still have the note in there, mm-hmm. right? 100%. There's still a music. So that's a split function of the actual vocal fold. So part of the vocal chords are called folds now. So I'll interchange those words. Part of the, the folds are a chaotically blowing, like like farting, like, like that, except they're going, ah, you see, there's no note in there when I go, ah, but if I go, eh, right, that when you hear a pitch, my vocal folds are actually vibrating cycles per second. That's the definition of pitch. If you hear a pitch, there is a repeated vibration of sound like that sound makes wave. pitch. It's a sound wave. Yeah. It's actually, it's a complex sound wave. There's sure. many sound waves because there's different overtones and frequencies. The voice is complex, right? Mm-hmm. So, but the, because the, in the fil- uh it's so complicated, but after the vocal folds are doing their thing, there's a filter, like a mixing board, that's your throat, which is the space in which the resonance occurs, which creates other waves. They're resonance strategies, right? So, like, if I... For instance, the vowel E, I can do, I can go E, I can go E, I can go E, 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 the shape of the E, A, different, E, E, see there's different sounds that E makes. So and what are you changing those, there to change those? The shape of my throat. 
Okay. <clears throat> the shape of my throat. So there's like uh, understanding like the source is the vocal folds, right? That's like the guitar string. And the filter, which is like the box of the guitar, right? The, the chords are like the string and the throat, the space in the throat is like, it's the, like an amplifier kind of too, right? You can add different it's a colors mixing board. different EQ. Yeah, mixing yeah, board. yeah, you can add 5K, add 2K. Yes, I think you're, you're explaining that ridiculously well. Good, I think because that, it helps. That, that resonates with me. It resonates with me. Yeah, yeah, cool. Nice <laughs> oh, joke. I like it. I like it. it. Hey Boom. Is this mic on? Is this on? That's hello, it. Hello, hello, hello. Okay. <laughs> that's really good. Um, that's yeah. good. See, you're getting it. You're quick. Yeah. You'd be a good student. I'm a I'd regular like Corey you. Taylor. <laughs> yeah. So, but see, now you know that. Isn't that helpful to you? For sure. See, it's, it's going to make it so much easier for you to like take off like some of the responsibility off these tiny little folds, which are literally one tenth the size of your index fingernail. Mm -hmm. That's how big your vocal cords That's are. Ridiculous. Isn't that ridiculous? It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Do you know that birds have two sets? No. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> so anyway, um, I forgot where I was going with this, but that the was basically, it was basically, oh, yeah. you know, oh, oh it's, yeah. It's, yeah. It's emotional. Like people, instead of like emotionally getting to that place, you need the knowledge and then the execution of technically what's happening to make the vocal folds chaotically vibrate without a repeated. If I go, ee, that's vibrations per second, right? But if I go, see, I'm changing the shape of the throat, but right. the actual vibration, there's no pitch because others are, my vocal folds are not touching like this. They're just going like that. And that's not the same as just forcing air on it. That's the thing. So people, like you were saying before, some people, when they try to imitate it and they'll just use, they think there's anger or something behind it and they'll just yeah. throw that they air use, at it, which really is just smashing. You're going to create. Okay. You but know. there's a different kind of scream called false chord scream, which is okay. like, ah! which is like, you know, that's Metallica, that's okay. Machine Head, Pantera. That's also correct. But the way to do that is without overdoing that. Okay. People get hurt when they make that laryngeal, like, thrust and they overdo the muscles in the filter in the throat and they don't use the air pressure muscles you see what takes the weight off the throat is the uh aerodynamic aspect of air pressure in other words the diaphragm it's not you don't sing from your diaphragm never do that please do not sing for me never say that word Unless you're talking about your, your girlfriend's like birth control, like diaphragms just stay out of it. Okay. So <laughs> it's the worst kind of training, oh the worst kind of training for non-classical music. Mm. Okay. Because if you put your mind in that, uh, a muscle that you can't even feel anyway, you're barking up the wrong tree. You know, when people say sing from your stomach, that doesn't work. Doesn't work, and, and, so, and despite the fact that your stomach's right to the left of your rib cage, <laughs> so exactly. I'm being technical. Exactly, it's like it's not even there. It's, it's not even worried. there. Like your diaphragm is so much higher up. Like people think it's like somewhere near their like sexual organs. It's not. It's it's so ridiculous what people think. Um. So, uh, but taking there is a balance. The aggression when the, when it's imitated is usually put in the throat muscles because that's what people recall when they get angry. Mm. They remember what it feels like to go, I'm not going to do it. No, they, no. Eh, they have yeah. too much gag, too much like eh, that, and less of a counterbalance with some uh, intercostal musculature down below. So that's what exercises are for, to teach that coordination. 